This presentation records the 18th of March, 1989, when the people of Weir Valley in County Durham expressed their admiration for the outstanding achievements and the glorious traditions of the Durham Light Infantry, now known as the Light Infantry. And as it states on the scroll, do hereby confer upon the Light Infantry freedom of entry to the district of Weir Valley on ceremonial occasions with colours flying, bands playing and bugles sounding. The Chairman of the Council, the Colonel of the Regiment, the Director of Finance and Management and the Leader of the Council tell of their feelings, thoughts and of how this very special event came to be. Right, in a few minutes' time, Madam Chairman, you'll be going outside, you'll be off to Bishop Auckland for this marvellous parade. How are you feeling right now? Excited, very proud, and happy that today it has arrived at last, <laughs> because I've looked forward to it for such a long time. Has it been a long time in the melting pot, getting this prepared? Uh, nearly a year. Really? Yes. And um, I'm very happy that it's happened in my year of office. Mm -hmm and that I would be the one to present the regiment with the freedom of the city. Now, of course, a lot of lads have come from this area to go into the Durham's over the years, haven't they? Oh, yes, quite a lot. They've always drawn on, on this area for their recruits uh, for over 200 years. And of course, that makes it unique, the fact that it belongs to us, doesn't it? Even though it's called the Light Infantry now, it's still to us, the Durham's. It, it'll always be the Durham's uh, in this area, and that is why we are very, very proud now that they've actually put the Durham back in. They've got mm. the light infantry and in brackets the Durham. Yes. Uh, because it'll never be anything else but the Durham light infantry. Now the, the ceremony itself is going to take a while obviously. Did you have any chance to rehearse at all? None at all. No rehearsal at all. So you're going out there cold as it were? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. A regular little trooper are you? <laughs> <laughs> Girl guide training. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about isn't it? Anyway we'll be talking to you after the ceremony and we'll just hope everything goes well for you. So do I. I hope it goes well. I know it'll go well. A bit chilly out there today. Yes, it is. That's why I'm going to put a thick coat on and um, I hope that the rain and the snow keeps off. OK, well, we'll speak to you later. Thank you very much. Thank you very day. much. Thank you. Saturday, March the 18th, 1989, at St. Anne's Church, the marketplace, Bishop Auckland. A very cold, grey day, but not cold or grey enough to dampen the enthusiasm and the warmth of this unique occasion.
The chairman now invites the Right Reverend, the Lord Bishop of Durham, to say a prayer. God of power and peace and perseverance, we give you thanks for all those who serve in the armed forces of this land for the prevention of war, the restraint of strife, and the overcoming of conflict. Strengthen them with the skills they need and the discipline they require, so that they may serve with courage, confidence, and restraint, and enable us all as fellow citizens with them to work together for the promotion of that trust and confidence which will enable the growth of peace. May we receive your help to persevere in our callings and duties so that we may hasten the time when wars shall be no more and all will serve one another to our mutual enjoyment of your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Colonel of the Regiment now invites the Chairman to inspect the parade. During her address, the chairman of Weir Valley District Council recalled when, at the time of the Boer War, a body of men marched along Newgate Street to the Market Square, where they were sworn in as soldiers of the Queen to serve in South Africa. I feel very honoured and privileged this morning to be in the position where I am representing the citizens of the district in conferring on their behalf Freedom of Weir Valley in the Light Infantry. We hope this small tribute will place on record the appreciation and gratitude that we owe to the men, past and present, of the armed forces, with the knowledge that they will want to protect our freedom in the future. I will now call upon our Director of Finance and Management, Mr. Dobson, to read the scroll. I have the honour and delight of handing the formally to the Colonel of the Regiment. District of Weir Valley to the Colonel of the Regiment and all ranks of the Light Infantry greeting. But as an expression of the admiration of the people of Weir Valley, the Council place on record the outstanding achievements and glorious traditions of the Durham Light Infantry and its successor, the Light Infantry, and in recognition for their close association with the district, do hereby confer upon the Light Infantry freedom of entry to the district of Weir Valley on ceremonial occasions with colours flying, bands playing, and bugle sounding. In witness whereof the common seal of the Weir Valley District Council was here unto a fix this 18th day of March, 
On their behalf, I thank you again, and I request your permission, Madam Chairman, the regiment to exercise its freedom. Well, we now as Major General Pank, perhaps we can clear up one thing first of all, Major General, is how are you called the Colonel of the Regiment when your rank, in fact, is Major General? Colonel of the Regiment is an honorary appointment which you're appointed to normally for five years. And it is a, a great honour to do so. One has served in the Regiment for, in my case, nearly 30 years. And uh, it is something which you're invited to do at, uh, towards the end of your career. And... Um, it is a very signal honour. Mm. This appointment is by whom? By Her Majesty the Queen. Oh, so it really is a signal honour, isn't it? Indeed. Now, another signal honour today, of course, was receiving the freedom from Weir Valley Council. But, uh, a very signal honour and something of which we are very privileged to receive. It is something which we do not solicit and therefore it is that much more valuable to us that we are actually asked to accept this honour. What's your first reaction when you're asked to accept the freedom of some particular place or other? Uh, one of uh, enormous gratitude, because I think that it cements the relationship between the regiment and the district, and particular district like Ware Valley, which has provided so many of its sons to the regiment over two or three hundred years. We train them to become soldiers. It takes about three months in their basic training, and uh, we find they make remarkably good soldiers. They're very tough soldiers, and uh, they can endure all sorts of hardship and difficult times and come through smiling. I think that uh, the boys who look to their local territorial battalion, 